Three hours of each? I need to actually eat it. This is first on literally every single list title. Amy Schumer places first on literally every single list titled Worst or Most Hated Comedians of All Time. Why? Well, the countless different reasons for it become most interesting when you realize that toward the beginning of her career, she was actually liked and respected amongst the general population. For example, she was listed in Time's Top 100 Most Influential People of 2015, whilst her comedy specials such as This One, This One, and This One received mostly positive reviews, one of which confidently stating that Amy Schumer leaves her audience in stitches. However, while this review was mostly positive, if we go back a couple of sentences, it also points out the first reason as to why Amy Schumer would eventually become so hated. It's easy to label Amy Schumer a one-trick pony. As the title of her special suggests, she talks about sex and she doesn't talk about much else. Her idea of comedy is making jokes about how terrible her vagina smells and or how many guys she's blown. That's not comedy. This was a comment on a thread discussing why her style was so controversial, the thread including another supporting comment which stated, you can call her a one trick pony or two trick which are, one, here is my vagina, want a detailed description, you will That's have it anyway, disgusting, two, but... men pathetic, and I like to assault slash manipulate slash emasculate them in every way. With these two comments in mind, it becomes obvious that not only does Amy Schumer have little diversity in terms of what topics she jokes about, but her narrow style of joking about her own female anatomy in an unflattering way, whilst constantly joking about men in a derogatory way, is simply going to make her unappealing to a male audience, as well as specific females such as this one who had commented, you can only have so much self-deprecating humor before people get tired of it. How much do I need to hear about her pussy? Certainly not the entire length of her stand-up show, that's for damn sure. The very nature of this kind of content, such as the discussion of female promiscuity, also leaves Amy Schumer open to political backlash and debate. This is the next thing that began to turn the audience against her back in 2016, politics. One article written by CBS News stated, around 200 people walked out of her Tampa show when Schumer launched into a withering takedown of Donald Trump. It's somewhat of a surprise that fans were caught off guard because Schumer isn't known for suppressing her political views. In addition to this, Amy Schumer would announce that she was pregnant by posting a list of the people she had voted for, adding at the bottom, I'm pregnant Amy Schumer, using her pregnancy to drive traffic to the candidates which she considered to be favorable. Whenever Amy spoke politically, she always took a liberal viewpoint and was very anti-Republican, even having interviewed Hillary Clinton, yet her audience would come to discover that back in 2007, Amy Schumer actually got her first big break as a guest on Fox News, which was a pro-Republican news station, angering both both sides of the political spectrum. Amy going public with her political opinions meant that she had now alienated another 50% of the already small audience that might still be interested in her style of comedy. Additionally, whenever Amy Schumer was criticized for the comedy itself, she'd use politics as an easy way out by simply blaming the criticism on the alt-right, as highlighted in another comment which stated, worst of all, when her audience gives her honest feedback, she whines about how her critics must hate women or how they're all alt-right. Yeah, sure Amy, the only reason people hate you is that they're all a bunch of Nazi anti-Semitic misogynists. This comment also highlighted the next reason as to why Amy Schumer became so hated, and that's her lack of personal responsibility and victim complex, which is sometimes even mixed with a hint. I just thought she was fucking annoying. That's it. There was not much to it. I didn't even really listen to her joke though. I just thought she was just fucking annoying. Of entitlement and the contrary attitude that she's better than everyone Demeanor, else. For example, in late 2015, an article was published by Page Six titled, Amy Schumer thinks she's too famous to check in at the gym, which read, Amy Schumer was not happy this week when staffers at the Upper West Side Equinox asked her to present her membership card, which is standard practice at the upscale fitness club. She felt entitled to just walk in, a source explained to Page Six. She didn't want to show her key fob and wanted to be able to go in and not be questioned. We're told the annoyed train wreck star declared, I'm famous, when in employees didn't recognize her and insisted she go through the typical check-in procedure. While Equinox believes Schumer eventually enjoyed her workout on Monday afternoon, Alsor said wow. she was so unhappy she stormed off. A different article sporting similar energy was titled, Amy Schumer can't be bothered to take photos with fans, which stated, Amy Schumer wants to make it clear she does not owe you a selfie. The article went on to describe an exchange that Amy Schumer had whilst in town for a comedy show. This guy in front of his family just ran up next to me and scared the shit out of me. He put a camera in my face. I asked him to stop and he said, no, it's America and we paid for you. This was in front of his daughter. I was saying stop and no. Great message to your kid. Yes, legally you're allowed to take a picture of me, but I was asking you to stop and say no. I will not take pictures with people anymore and it's because of this dude in Greenville. Yet, after the other person involved was then interviewed by a local news station, a whole different side to the story was revealed. But he tells us that's not exactly 
how it went according to him. I see her face and I'm like, all right, cool. So I hurry up and get on my Instagram and I'm like, here goes Amy and then she just loses it and she just gets mad and that is totally false what she wrote about me. So if Amy Schum was too famous to check into her local gym or take photos with fans, she must have thought pretty highly of herself. If that's truly the case, then surely she'd be happy with an $11 million offer from Netflix for one of her comedy specials a year later in 2017, right? Well, no, not really. Amy Schumer claimed that the $11 million offer wasn't enough money for 60 minutes of comedy footage, citing it as unfair due to Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle receiving $20 million for their specials. Now, this argument would be perfectly fine assuming all three comedy specials were of similar quality, only they most Typical certainly weren't. Amy's famous, comedy yeah. special, the one that she was paid $11 right? million dollars for, was so <laughs> bad that IMDb users gave it a rating of 3.1 out of 10, whilst Netflix had to change their rating system entirely, which hit its 1.35 out of 5 star performance on their platform. Oh my the God. changes to the industry she's made is incredible, like how Netflix had to remove their rating system because her special was so terrible. The goods and the bads of this comedy special. We'll go ahead and start about what's good with it. That ends that segment. That about covers that. Dave Chappelle's Netflix special, on the oh. other hand, received a rating of 8.2 out of 10 on IMDb, whilst Chris Rock's received a less impressive but still superior rating of 6.6 .6 out of 10. Dave Chappelle and Chris Rock were ranked as number 9 and number 5 on Rolling Stone's Top 50 Comedians of All Time, whilst the only list Amy Schumer seems to top is IMDb's Top 10 Worst Comedians of All Time. When Dave Chappelle went on Comedy Central all the way back in 2004, he'd receive a viewership of 3.1 million people, yet when Amy Schumer went on Comedy Central at the height of her popularity in 2016, her viewership was less than 500,000. I'm truly cackling at the audacity of Amy Schumer thinking she deserved the same pay as Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle. Like, girl, what? So Amy Schumer Jesus. wants Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle money, but haven't put in the years they put in. Talk about privilege and opportunity, shaking my head. Amy Schumer is maybe Josh Gad level. She's not as famous or crazy. endearing as Chris That's Rock. Crazy. She's not a legend like Dave Chappelle. Yeah, crazy. In case Amy oh. Schumer complaining about being paid $11 million wasn't already dumb enough, it became even worse when her audience would discover that some of the jokes within her special might have been stolen from other comedians. Compilations began to pop up on YouTube such as these two, giving example after example of the ways in which Amy Schumer had stolen jokes from other comedians in the past. How's this? Oh, that's perfect. They can ring you up right over there. I think me is Thanks asking so much. as much as you make. You know what I mean? That's fucking okay, stupid. Okay, I'm Bengi. If you need any other sizes, you please uh, let me know, all right? Okay. There you go. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you doing? Oh, going to find somebody help me with this. Oh, uh, yeah, she's right over... Four years. Maybe for sponsor, sponsor, maybe. First oh, found you back she's not right there. Before Someone help me today? Started. Yeah, um... Hmm. Who was it? You know, I don't, I don't see him. Oh, that's okay. What did she look like? She's... Um, uh, dark hair. Um, she was wearing a blazer. Oh, yeah, all the girls are wearing blazers. Do you know what he looks like? Yeah, he is wearing like a like a vest, like a plaid shirt. I I, I didn't look at the joke. Is she trying to I say he's black? Like who works here wore today? If she had a favorite president, it would probably be Lincoln. That's not even Are funny. I mean, I don't I don't think it's funny. Features? It's just gonna lame. I would guess he probably voted for. No, it's Obama. a good skit. I know I okay, these compilations but, began to pick yeah, the up original idea is it's a good skit. News articles well, it comes out naturally, yeah, Schumer, it comes out like thief. I don't know, within this the comedy weird. space would come forward stating that Amy Schumer stealing jokes was discussed I mean, it's not regularly good anymore, behind the scenes. But Twitter took the exact same day. standpoint in posts such as, is it just me or is Amy Schumer just not that funny? Despite the fact that she has a terrible personality and steals half her jokes, prompting Amy to address the criticism in an Instagram post where she'd once again alleviate any personal responsibility by blaming the backlash on Reddit. Dear sweet misunderstood geniuses in the bowels of subreddit chat rooms. I've never stolen a joke in my life, also going on the Jim Norton advice show before stating the following. And I'm so careful and none of these things had ever reached me and I like I will literally take a polygraph and I just would never do that. Like, that would be so stupid for me to do that. Amy Schumer well, I mean, would eventually take a polygraph test for a Vanity Fair video during which she was asked about stealing jokes. Coming up with new material is difficult. Have you ever stolen a joke? No. Yes, she's telling the truth. What about an idea for a sketch? No. An idea for a character? No. Let me rephrase. Have you ever taken inspiration for a joke from somebody else? 
No. Yet the video is edited in a bizarre way where she says no before it fails to include whether or not she was telling the truth. The whole dilemma was I, certainly I feel a like point of debate. Yet one joke which I, Amy Schumer definitely I feel like had everyone stolen kind of was a joke made in front though. of Steve-O back in- Dude, dude, your, your machine, it, it's not all unique parts. You're literally pieces of everybody. 2014 relating to the death that's of a good that's a good thing it's not even a bad Steve -O thing Steve-O is here Steve-O great try yeah I feel like saying you're inspired is a good thing I don't know yeah, it's, well, not... it's an okay thing but it's an okay thing am, like no joke sorry for the loss no of your that. friend Ryan Dunn I know you must have been thinking it could have been me and wait wait what was that hold up hey, this was bad try oh. relating to the death of his friend Ryan Dunn and Steve-O is here Steve-O great try Steve-O <laughs> But I truly am, no joke, sorry for the loss of your friend Ryan Dunn. I know you must have been thinking it could have been me, and I know we were all thinking, why wasn't it? <laughs> Bro. Um, thank you. Steve-O is always laughing. When he's not, it's for real. Imagine being such a buzzkill that you kill Steve-O's vibe. Yeah, Amy I Schumer was gonna, doesn't understand dude, the concept I, of I thought that this, uh, She's got the dark, now she just needs to find the humor. What made this even worse dude, was that- It's actually hard to find a clip of Steve-O not smiling. Eventually use this yep. little zinger as an example that Amy Schumer was able to dish crazy. out harsh jokes, but was unable to take them herself. What we're referring to is a tweet made in early 2016 by a 17 year old movie critic who had posted a photo of himself with Amy Schumer titled with a lighthearted comedic caption reading spent the night with at Amy Schumer certainly not the first guy to write that referring to Amy often talking about the different guys she's been with during her shows so if Amy thought it was appropriate to joke about Steve-O's recently deceased friend surely she shouldn't have a problem with someone making a little comment about the amount of guys she's been with especially considering it's basically all she talks about within her shows well Amy didn't take it all that lightly replying to the 17 year old fan by stating I get it because I'm a whore glad I took a photo with you hi to your dad others on Twitter would respond to what you might call Amy's inconsistent joke morals by stating that's the same type of joke Amy Schumer uses to keep her fame suddenly that humor is off limits now huh lol others would support Amy Schumer in tweets stating thank you at Amy Schumer for holding him accountable and not just blowing it off yet the discourse and contrast between these two different viewpoints really conclude how Amy Schumer became so hated she used controversy and difference of opinion to grow her career whilst angering the entire world in the process well that was just that was just kind of odd Amy Sh Jesus. Man, that, that Ryan Dunn joke, that was absolute garbanzo. Omega lol 40 months, what a waste. Especially, especially since um, when it was publicized, it was kind of obvious that um, if, you, if you've seen literally any episode or uh, ever of fucking like, Jackass or whatever, you know how close some of these guys were or whatnot, and so, uh, how hard it impacted whatever, you can make a joke when it's like a, you know, I don't know, just read the room type of thing. 